family lived in uh, Seward, Alaska for 25 years. And um, in 1991, we decided we would go on a snow machine trip to a remote cabin, uh, no running water, no electricity for a week. Sounds good. Um, <laughs> at that point, I was 42 and in nature's hell in menopause. So for three months, I would have no period, no period, no period. I'm done with it, I'm done with it. Swoosh, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Well, Mother Nature decided, like, so get this girl. She decided that this the snow machine trip is the perfect time to get the whoosh, whoosh, whoosh to the second power. <laughs> so we, we arrived home after this trip, and I set all of my clothes, bloody clothes, into the uh, utility sink as I came in the door, filled the sink, left it for later. And my daughter from upstairs said, hey mom, someone has broken into our house and the, the door was smashed open. Well, um, I called the neighbor girl who has, was taking care of our cats and I asked Andrea, um, uh, did you see anything? She says, no, but you know what? Two murderers from our local prison the, uh, had, uh, um, escaped, oh. and they are looking for him. Oh, no. Well, I, I called the uh, local the local police, and if you have ever thought of uh, the Keystone Cops, well, I will tell you the Keystone Cops are Harvard professors compared to our cops. <laughs> no, nobody has ever come into this house except, you know, the prisoners. No, they went to Anchorage. They wouldn't have come into Seward. And, and there's only one footprint in the snow going away. <laughs> so, <laughs> he laughed, but... Uh, I went into my bedroom, and there was a glove, a work glove from the prison. Oh. It, had, oh. it had a Spring Creek Correctional. Oh. Oh. So I, we had rented our, our other house out to the superintendent of the prison, and I called him. I said, Larry, the um, prisoners have broken into our house, and they might come back, you know? And so within two minutes, I'm not kidding, two minutes, the SWAT team, helicopters, feds, uh, search dogs, uh, police, everybody, newsmen came into our around our house and into our house, and uh, and uh, and they said you have to leave because this is a crime scene. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't showered for a week, <laughs> and the the law enforcement looked down at the sink. Uh, <laughs> like, what happened? Like, they didn't know if anyone had actually been hurt by the. Uh, I had. Uh, awkward. <laughs> what had happened? Anyway, my husband, my was husband, was a, was a very organized person. Garage was a bunch of boxes, and he had labeled everything: backpacks, sleeping bags, <laughs> uh, hunting stuff, fishing stuff. So the prisoners had had a great time coming into our house, like a Costco shopping trip. <laughs> <laughs> they put, they got our backpacks and filled it with gun, knife, uh, sleeping bags, tents, and. And as we came into the house, they left the house. Oh. Luckily, they left the house. They could have taken us hostage. They could have killed us because they had our guns. They had our knife. And um, they were really, really bad guys. They were uber guys. One of them was so evil, he had raped his grandmother. Oh. And killed her by setting her on fire. Oh. Say, ooh! ooh. Say, ah! Oh. That's exactly right. <laughs> anyway, we were lucky. 
Um, and the, the SWAT team found those guys on a uh, hill, I mean a mountainside, in back of our house. And um, they had taken, not the green tent, not the brown tent, but the orange one. <laughs> and it was in the snow. <laughs> husband's whiskey. <laughs> I really believe in making the best of uh, uh, situation. So after this event, I uh, on the wall of our uh, rec room, I made a, um, uh, um, I put in the work club, I put the uh, clothes that they had worn in the prison because they were in my dryer. <laughs> All the newspaper articles from around. And I named it uh, uh, Welcome to the Spring Break-In B&B. &B. <laughs>